So what I'm about to say may come across as controversial, but I really don't think it should be. The most important people in your business are not your members, they are not your clients, they are your staff. Because if you look after your staff, if you hire and develop an amazing staff team, they are the foot soldiers, they are the front line for your business, and they will have a trickle down, a flow on effect to, to your clients and to your members. So today I wanna to talk a little bit about how to, how to hire staff, how to hire great staff, and how to train great staff. This comes off the back of a lot of the work I've been doing with my business mentoring clients. There are a few at the moment as their businesses grow and scale. Uh, there are a few who are now going through that staff hire process, which, which can be difficult, but of course it's a very high order problem. It's a great problem to have. So this is, again, a little bit of a sneak peek as I've been doing every Friday um, of some of the content we'll be covering in the 2020 Perth Fitness Industry PD event and also the 2020 Perth Fitness Business Summit. If you'd like more details on that, let me know. So hiring staff first. 80% of hiring, it's my firm belief, 80% of hiring is about hiring good people who are good with people who care about people. 80% of it is right there. It's important that you have people who are a culture fit, who fit your core values. If you don't know what your core values are, let me know and I'll drop you a link below um, with some information on how to establish those. If you have people who match your core values, who are a culture fit to your business, you are 80% of the way there. I'm gonna say this again. Hire good people who are good with people who care about people, and that care is a key element. Hire people who care, and you are 80% of the way there. The other 20%, I would say, is hiring for, for people who are good at following your systems, and you'll understand why that's important in a moment. It's a fine balance sometimes between between trying to hire someone who is an entrepreneur, who has initiative, who's a real go-getter, um, and, and someone who, is, who doesn't necessarily have those entrepreneurial tendencies. The issue is, if you hire a pure, true-blooded entrepreneur, then they're probably not gonna be with your business for long, and you're trying to build legacy, and you're trying to build some degree of loyalty here. So you want people who will be entrepreneurs, who will help to innovate within your business and have great ideas inside your business, but not necessarily people who are, who are gonna leave. So there's a fine balance there. So 80% hiring for the sort of person they are, 20% for their ability to follow systems. You will notice 80%, 20%, that's all you need. There is no mention here of experience. There's no mention of expertise. There's no mention of qualifications. That's for two main reasons. The first reason is, as I've alluded to, if they're good at following systems, which is 20% of your uh, your hiring decision, if they're good at following systems, and if you have systems created, operations, uh, policies and procedures created for your business, you will be able to, to train them in, in following these systems, and a set system gives a very predictable outcome, and that predictable outcome, that consistent outcome is what you're looking for. Consistency is so important in business. People don't go to McDonald's because the burgers taste good, they go to McDonald's because they taste consistent may be consistently bad, sure, but they are consistent. People know what to expect, whether you're in Perth or Tokyo or London or New York or Madrid or wherever you wanna be. It's the same thing. So hire people who are able to follow these systems to be able to follow the checklists that you set out for them. But then of course, at some point, you do need to build their expertise. And this is where professional development comes into it. Now, incidentally, if, if you guys have staff and you're interested in sending them to our 2020 PD event, um, please let me know. We do have some discounts available that we haven't published uh, for people who are looking at sending their staff. So reach out to me if that's the case. Um, <clears throat> in terms of the professional development, you developing your staff is super important, not only because they are the front line of your business as we've talked about, but it's also important because they, they need to have that sense of growth. It's something that a lot of staff are looking for. They want to be developed and, and you have a duty of care to do that not only for them, but for your clients as that trickle on effect. So what I'd like to do is just run you through very quickly what we do at Range of Motion for our staff professional development. Um, we, we do the first Saturday of every month, two hours, and, and occasionally we'll, go, we'll sort of go off system on this, but this is basically what we would do. So I'm just gonna read these out to you guys. So it basically starts off, um, we, we identify one of the core values in our business, and each person, so each staff member on that team, so maybe we've got 10 staff sitting around the table, um, each will 
identify a bright spot, so something that we are doing well to live that core value, and, and also an opportunity to improve. So we go around the table, this is how I think we're living this core value well, here is an opportunity to improve how we are living this core value. Then the second thing we go on to, um, we, we have a look at the results of our previous client survey, which is a massive survey we do every couple of years. And from that survey, we have started to distill down a lot of the information that the people have given us, that our clients have given us. So as soon as that information is distilled, at the moment we've got four key things that we're working on. So we review the successes, the opportunities um, on this feedback from the survey. Are we doing what our clients are asking? Yes, where are we winning? How can we be doing this better? We'll then talk about what I personally am doing for range of motions development. It's very important that your staff are on board with what the future of the business is and what the current focuses are. Um, then for each, each of our staff members, and because it's all one-on-one -on -one personal coaching at Range of Motion, for each of our staff members, we will identify a client for them. And, and again, we talk about a bright spot, a thing that we're doing well with that person, and also an opportunity or a weakness, something that we can improve on with that person. And, and often that, that opportunity or that thing that we're perhaps not doing very well is something that the other staff as part of that team can help with. So that's a really a group problem solving. Um, from there, we, we talk about one of our systems. So for example, our last PD, uh, we talked about the systems of the macro journey that the clients go through as part of their journey with range of motion and the importance and the uh, reason that it's important for our staff to be holding them accountable and to sort of tick those boxes along that client journey. If you don't have a macro client journey in your business, that's another thing that we'll be covering in the 2020 Fitness Business Summit, um, helping you to put together that long-term client experience. Uh, so from there, um, a, a member of our team will present session notes to the group. So this is basically the sessions that we prescribe to our clients, the exercise that we actually do with them. We have very detailed notes on the science behind each of those. So there are over a thousand sessions we have in our database, um, a piece of software that we've actually developed to individualize and prescribe exercise to our clients. So they... Um, a member of our staff, one of our personal coaches, will present that science to the rest of the group, which helps them to learn it, it helps the rest of the group to learn it, and it's a good little case study or practical um, piece of role play um, that we can use to then do the same thing to our clients. It's really important people understand the why behind what we do, not just the what. We don't want people saying, yes, sir, I'll do it because you say so. We want them to understand the why. Education is a big piece of what we do. Um, from then on, um, we have one of the staff members will present to the group on a topic of their choice. It could be an exercise demo, something they have a particular interest in, a research article that they've been reading recently, um, a book they've just read, etc. And we basically cycle through and give different people an opportunity to do that each month. Um, from there, we will have a presentation from our nutrition coach. We really see range of motion not as a gym, not even as an exercise or fitness facility, but a health facility. So this is just to ensure that there's that integration between our nutrition coaching arm or branch and, and our exercise training branch. Uh, then a similar presentation from our physio um, who, who, who talks about some of the sort of physio elements and how they integrate into what we do. And then we finish off with a bit of a role play. So we will have one of our staff members will coach the other on a certain movement. It can be a very basic movement, just like an air squat um, or a strict press or something. And we will use a report card that we've put together for every other member of the staff team to assess what that person is doing, assess how they're coaching. We then make a few suggestions. Again, what are the bright spots? What have they done well? What are the opportunities for improvement? And then they will then repeat that process with those suggestions taken on board. So we're really refining down the craft in terms of the delivery to the client. As they're teaching that movement, um, so in the last PD, one of our new staff, Philip, he taught me how to do an air squat. As I was doing that, not only are the other members of the staff team assessing Philip and how well he's doing, but they're assessing how well I'm moving, which is something that we do every single session with every single client, a full movement assessment. So we have these movement assessment cards, they're identifying what I'm doing in that squat well, what needs work. So then at the end of that, we talk about what the movement dysfunction was, whether it's something we can just fix by throwing some sort of coaching cue at them, uh, or whether it's something that's indicative of an underlying musculoskeletal imbalance or dysfunction. So we identify the structures of fault, 
and then we go back to our systems. We have a big chart on the wall that basically says, if this is your issue, this is what you should do to fix it. So we talk about what the problem is that we see, what it is that's causing that problem in terms of some sort of musculoskeletal imbalance, and finally, what exercises can we do to fix that? And we prescribe those exercises after every session. And again, all this is systemized and our staff don't necessarily need to know this because the systems are in place, but having an understanding of this allows them to go below just this superficial do this because the chart says into do this because here is the science behind it. So guys, I hope this has been of some use. Remember, hire for the type of person they are, hire um, for their personality, 80%, their ability to follow systems, 20%, then obviously have great systems in your business, and then, and only then, work to develop those people. It's hard to teach personality. It's very easy to teach someone how to teach a squat. If you're interested in this or any of the other information I put out, I'm gonna teach you every single thing I know that I think is important in our two events in October, the Fitness Industry PD and the Fitness Industry Business Summit. Um, check the links and check the details for more info on that. Guys, hope this has been of some use. Your staff are the most important people in your business. Hire them well and then invest in them. See you next time.